Got the, got the big boys coming out to play this this uh, this fight. Norm from Part Jim. Yeah. Herman. Yeah. Herman. Yeah. Yep. Herman, a very good fighter. Yeah. Yeah. But weighing 100, weighed in at 100 kgs. 95 kgs. 95 kgs, and we'll give him extra credit for another five kilograms of uh, ink on him there. Good stuff. And Perry, all the way from Ellis. Ellis's Jim. Yeah, that's like a fireworks. I do expect more fireworks from these boys. They look hunting down. Got a Maori warrior look about them, and we're going to get a Maori warrior, warrior fight, I believe. Look at this. Yep, they're not mucking around. A, a big change from the um, the big guys in the last fight. These guys seem a bit more nimble, a bit more hungry. Yeah, well, we're just going to see whether a southpaw style actually um, has any effect on either of these two fighters. Um, oh, head going down. I want to keep that that uh, head up when these punches come in. It's uh, not a very effective technique for uh, blocking a punch because you tend to catch a knee coming off of it. Yep. Oh, a nice high kick being thrown up there. Oh, very short knee. Showing some real speed there. Yep. Bad oh, power kick. I think he's decided to work the leg early. Yeah. Oh. oh, nice. Very nice. Oh, response back. Trying to tie him up, get your head up. So advise him get their head up. There's nothing big. Bad news can come from that. Southpaw fighters, a pet hate of mine, but... Mate, I don't mind a Southpaw fighter. Got to use the right hand a bit more, Norm? Yeah, we've got to use the right hand a bit more. I mean, the, the, the true Southpaw is uh, catch you on your blind spot. But uh, unfortunately enough, uh, not a lot of them throw a good right hook. Yeah, that's dead right. Uh -huh. But a good right jab and a, oh, look at that left hook from Southpaw. Not a conventional shot, actually we don't have a name for that shot. Oh, and feathered him with the knee. We'll just call it nasty. <laughs> oh, it's nasty, yeah. It's intent. Who cares about technique? Rocky Marciano never threw um, orthodox stuff, but I tell you what, man, look how many people uh, won against him. How many won against Rocky Marciano? Oh, nice. Bridging the gap. <laughs> yeah. That's right. What a gap to bridge. President, both their, their styles. And two experienced corners too, Norm. Yeah, that's that's almost without saying. George Ellis from Tokara, Hart High, still a legend today in Thailand. But ask Paul Briggs about him. Yeah, Paul Briggs will, will can only tell you about 38 seconds worth of him, I think. Oh, right hand. Smiling away there. Ooh, I wouldn't want to smile with jaws open like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's a kind of a uh, go on, break my jaw. I don't give a, uh, I don't give a pony tail about that one. Bit of headlocking going on here, just technique. Um, just a little, little, uh, little closure there. Ooh. Oh, a bit of a haymaker going on there. I don't yeah. think uh, Perry's winding up for his, for his charge, and there he goes. Oh, just glancing the uppercut there. Looks like he wants to punch. He's got his hands down. He's shown a good array of oh. a good array of punches too, Norm. He is. He wants to fight. Breathing a little heavy, but that's what you get when you're throwing a lot of weight around. It, oh, big swing. It's easy to it's easy to forget just how big these guys are. Both around the 100k mark. Oh. <laughs> Jabbing, nice jab. Oh. Want to get your head up, Perry? 
I hate to see a fighter with his head down. I've seen the result of a knee to the head when it's intended for the body. It's just Have a you... little inexperience coming out there. Nice jab going on from the south ball. Both starting to tie down the second round. There's been a lot of action. Yeah. The tighter you get, the more you do feel a punch. Another close fight in the boxing. I, I say that casually because I, 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 I use all their gear. Yep. I wouldn't use crap, mate, that's for sure. Now the hard yards in the third round coming on, locking up their bit of body work. Even that body work by itself has a, has a, a wear down factor in it. Takes away the power out of your punches and your kicks. And a good front kick in the right hand. Could have paid off. Getting a bit of luck with that front kick. Oh, he is. Perry is going, oh, no way, mate. What do you call that, bro? And then, oh, beautiful. Oh. Here's mine. Here's my recipe for disaster. Oh. And Herman says, oh, yeah, okay, I'll give you some back too. He's got a nice uppercut. He has, actually. See, out of one of these fights, you can pick the stuff that they're doing, and you'll, if these car fighters carry on, you'll see some of the traits that come out today being displayed in the 20th, 30th, 40th fight. The stuff they're doing now can be some of the stuff that they'll always do well. It's the natural part coming out, the trained response. Look at that. He's leading with an uppercut. Ooh. All that was missing was a little focus because the other fighter... Oh, right oh, hand! Nice, nice. He's, sense, he's smelling blood. He senses, he's a, yep, senses an opportunity. Perry's doing well. And Herman, ever the warrior. Still Here comes the right jab with his own little uppercut. Still looking, still looking. both looking dangerous. Oh, he caught it for several up. Oh, left hand. Kerman getting him with the left hand. Here he coming back. Let's fight, let's fight. Oh, what a fight. Who's it gonna be? Perry just turned the southpaw then and threw a couple of right jabs. That had to put any fighter off. Yeah. Terry Hill says fight, they say, oh, what do you think we've been doing, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for the big boys. That was a fast-paced fight for guys glad we ran the 100kg mark. Yep. And their fighters, their charges, all Japan, wherever it may be. Both, both, what, what, blessed guys that they are. Of course, Bardo, he must be up around the uh, 300 fight mark. Getting up there. Yeah, I asked uh, Patai about his next fight and he says that uh, it's probably his next fight will be his last fight. Anticipated to be a uh, clash with Chopper Chapman. Can't what a hell of a fight that, that will be. Yep. I'll sure be there at 2 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be going to have a watch. The up and comer versus the experience. Twenty-nine points to twenty-eight points. Not much in the charge. I'm glad I'm not judging. Twenty-nine points to twenty-eight points in favour of the blue corner. It's a draw. I think it's a draw. Another fair decision, I think. Look, you know, we watch a fight. We're.